Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes, done and cheap building action. Got a little energy in that twirl tonight. <laughs> okay, I got these ready to vacuum bag. All I did since I last seen you is I put my foam in there, put my little wedge of uh, foam on that edge, like a cut. Okay, trying to stick that pill pot in there. Bam. That's the only thing I'm leaving along is the pill ply and my matting. I also put a piece of matting underneath my molds to see if I can't keep this bag and reuse it again. I gotta make the bag. I'm all out of them bags. So I just took my tacky tape, went around, went around this uh, plastic. This is a thicker plastic. I think you should be able to use these bags a couple of times at least without having to get all tapey, you know. Get out the tape and throw it patch and holes. That's the thing to do. You just got to kind of lay it out. Put it right there on its fold. Bam! Before we get too far there, let's cut the hole for the old homemade air fitting. Oh, this is that's my pop. See right there, kind of around where the air comes out. I kind of just lightly wrapped a paper towel around there. I mean, real lightly, and just a little bit of tape. And because uh, it was making a big mess, man, and I put it out in my driveway, but. It's not leaking near as much now. You know, it's kind of just kind of slowed down now. It's kind of steadied off. But I cut a little piece of carpet. I keep right outside there that garage door, and I just let it run outside because it. But my buddy, man, he's got a six hundred dollar Robin Air. Does the same thing. Spit it all out. Well, you know, he carries his oil jug right there beside his, his uh, vacuum pump. That's just how they are. I said, why do they do that, John? He said, that's just how they work. So, just deal with it. Dad's gonna get me some more of these made up. These are, I like these. Just real simple. That piece of rubber is actually the biggest rubber washer you can get at true value. <laughs> so that determined the size. A couple pieces of aluminum, a couple screws, and the fitting.
Beautiful. sucking down these corners. Alright? It's not hard. So you sucked down some parts right there. Ten minutes or less. <laughs> Ten minutes at a time. See how that sucks down in the corners real nice. You just gotta put that crinkle. Little plastic right there. Gotta nudge it down in there a little bit. <coughs> if you gotta take that off a couple times, it ain't no big deal. You know, just get it where you want it. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Bob TV, the 